One of the things that my father always used to tell us was that don't think that you are successful just because you are bright or just because you've worked very hard. You're successful because, yes, you are working hard, but you're successful because you have been given the opportunities to be successful. And it's important that, as an act of fairness, that you try to provide others with the opportunities that you yourself have been given. What happens to many successful businessmen is that they often don't give back because they have the attitude that uh, people are poor, people are underprivileged because it's their fault. And I think that the first crucial step is to acknowledge the fact that many people are in situations not of their own making, um, but because circumstances have, have placed them in a diff diff different position, or because they have not received the same deck of cards that you have received. And I think that once that realization comes to you, that you, you, you have a duty to give back, that you should give back, then the question becomes, how do you go about it? My wife and I talk regularly. Um, uh, we started doing it regularly when we both found out that we had both given money to the same project without realizing that we had both uh, given money to the foundation. And um, luckily, we have um, fairly similar interests. So we're often uh, talking through things, evaluating what do we think of this opportunity, what do you think of this uh, particular project. Uh, she is also much more interested in the um, environment than I am, so she does some things in the environment. She's very interested in uh, the whole filmmaking industry. Uh, I'm very interested uh, very much in all the talent that there is, especially in Africa, of young people in the music area, and believing very much that uh, encouraging people to go into music um, in a commercial sense can be beneficial to them. Um, and uh, so there's some things that we do together, there's some things that we, we do separately. Now, since um, my children have started uh, growing up, I guess they would believe that they're already grown up, but let's just say they're growing up, um, they, have, they have started influencing me more and more as well. Um, my um, my uh, second uh, daughter, um, who uh, works for McKinsey and Company in Lagos, she has started leading an effort uh, to promote young women entrepreneurs in Africa. Um, the point that she has been making is that women in Africa have so far been thought of in terms of microfinance, but they have not been thought of in terms of regular entrepreneurship for businesses that are middle-level businesses or th they don't think of women starting the next equivalent of Yahoo in Africa and there's no reason why this should not happen. We tend to look for something in there that we are passionate about. Because, ca candidly speaking, even though sometimes you feel the great need, it may just not be a, a group that, 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 that grabs you. you know, I have to be honest with you that, you know, um, I'm, co I, I, I'm concerned about the environment, but I'll be honest with you, you know, I'm not going to, you know, be up all night long on the issue, but I believe in it and I'm concerned about it. Education keeps me awake at night, medicine keeps me awake at night. So it has to be something you're passionate about. The second thing is that it's a tremendous help if, there's an, if there are individuals and organizations in that area that you can work with, that you can give your money and give support to a group of people who are, or, are organized, um, they know what they want to do, and they lack additional capital in, the, in all the organizations that I chair. I very much try to lead the example by making sure that they are ethnically mixed, that they are mixed in a religious form, and that there are, they are substantial proportions of women in there. I have not found in any case um, that it has in any way um, diminished the effectiveness of the place. If anything, they have strengthened the effectiveness of the place because what I keep finding is that there are large groups of people who, for one reason or another, either they're not from the right ethnic group or they're women or they're from poor backgrounds, are just reservoirs of tremendous talent that um, our countries, our continent, and that our companies are missing and that it is to our benefit to have them included. So for me, an inclusive uh, organization means a better organization, a more effective organization, and an organization that is profitable.